Hello everyone, Zeno Zimmer here, and welcome to a new Let's Play. A Let's Play by I'm doing fully blind. Well, 99% blind. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. A game I've been highly anticipating. By the time you get this, uh, I will have done Xenoblade 1 and 2, hopefully, but I'm recording this on the day this game releases, July 29th. So this will be blind. The only thing I've done is the first tutorial section and I have seen the cutscenes before and after. So, otherwise, I will show my reaction. Otherwise, yeah, no. You, you, just, oh. Sorry, I'm just, it's a little emotional. So, what is difficulty? Uh, I'm not doing hard. <laughs> uh, uh. Not doing it easy because that's too easy. And I think the fair difficulty is normal. So you can change it anytime. I will say spoilers, presumably one and two might be abound. That's your warning. is gonna start without us guys yeah move your feet hop hop run like you mean it <sighs> slow down guys is it true though <laughs> there's gonna be fireworks <laughs> yeah saw them setting it up yesterday there were loads of them it'll be worth it promise
Colossal martial nations locked in war. Kevez and Agnes. What is it they need to stay alive? Water? Food? Certainly. But what we need most is life itself. Taking each other's lives. With the taken flames becoming your own in turn. While the other, the one whose essence is stolen, leaves only a husk. in order to live and living to fight that's the way of our world Ionios cruel irony that it should mean eternity because slowly but surely our world is now dying even though we have yet to realize that fact Even so... Shut it! Stop flapping your gums and move! Yeah! We've got more incoming! And here we go! Our first fight! Auto attack! You will attack. Automatically attack an enemy if you approach them. This is called not attack. Stand still near your enemy to continue auto attacking. And yeah, yeah, that. We'll learn more about the combat later. I will say, well, the beginning, cousins are amazing. They take a while to get through tutorial. The only thing I can say, uh, right now, we're playing as an attacker. You need a healer, and Lance is a defender. Wam Wam Wamba? is also an attacker. There we go. Destinations. That's where destinations are. And we can look at the tips in our menu. Draw our weapons. Finally starts to move forward. Sadly, you can't do trick of being able to exactly. You can slightly auto cancel, but not great. This is the thing I'm kind of. Honestly, worried about playing this game is that 
The auto battling is going to be so boring. Finally, we get Arch. Arch is stronger than the auto attacks. You can activate by pressing X, Y, or B. After using an art, you can use it again until the gauge for the back. Art gauges fill up automatically over time. This is called Keep Charging. Now, if we hit from the side with this attack, break them. Just ground B is an AOE. And then back thrust, then attack from the back. Now we can just wait until they charge. Okay. Now we go back. Back attack. Now we side break him. And topple. And daze! Toppling leaves them vulnerable and daze leaves them vulnerable. They're tough. And here I thought our colony had the higher rank. Now if we side break him. Step behind. Ground beat. We're going to this area effect. Gain a boost. Here come some enemies. Because we hear that. It's not another character from another game saying that. Hey, this isn't too bad. Nice one, Wamba. Oh, I missed. Now if we do that. And that. Hey, this isn't too bad. Trish's team? Uni, how are things with Kite? What about our backup? Looks like they're busy guarding the artillery. They're not going anywhere. Anyone's moving right now, it's us. Let's go! If the front line breaks, we're all dead. But the position! We can handle this ourselves. Go on, move it! <gasps> Alevnis! That's what's hitting us! Well, now we know. It's do or die, Noah! Got it! Now, we get the final tutorial of the main combat, Talent Arts. Talent Arts are stronger than normal arts. Talent Art can be by pressing A once the circle gauge is full, and this recharge. Enjoy performing actions, spend the character's role, also called role actions. If you meet requirements for Arts, if I give bonus face this is Shane, your talent art will come from a flash red. Your talent art will leave charge up a lot. Actions that do damage effectively, such as dealing critical hits or persistent combos, also count as rollable actions. Charge your talent up, gauge, bit by bit. And yeah, this is talking about cancelling like I was showing. So if we do this, get, be get behind the enemy. And attack from behind. Now we just gotta wait until Sword Strike. Actually, no way. No, not yet. Wait. Hey! 
Now, that. Oof. Huge amount of damage. Go back to the side. Now, we do this again. There's not much I can talk about yet, because it's like... Nice! Nice finish! Victory! Every one of us is born looking like this. As soldiers. As weapons for slaying Agnians. Yes. All of us live only to fight. Cut that out! Stupid Noah! Nice one, Lance. Too early for that. Look, it's you they're after here. Just take out their attackers and we're golden. They're gonna get it handed to them. Bah! Flickering hoop. You're as slippery as Noah sometimes. Uni. Chick never shuts up. Kite. Range darts! Easy! Account 
a kite. Uh, I snuffed this up. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, Uni. Cheers for that. You're a lifesaver, Yorin. Sparking dead weight. Hey, change of plan. Kite, you keep firing and don't stop. Oh, what? Whatever you want. Huh? Go ballistic. Just draw their attention. Because what we're after here is that lame duck. Yorin? But he's bottom of the class. Why bother? Thing is, the brat's still a decent healer. Get it? Ah, right. So we're playing by the book here. Pisses me off. But the fight will be good as one. Yeah! yeah. They're not in their usual formation. Wait, what? <gasps> We're snuffed. Kai's just a decoy, so they're really after. Oh. <laughs> Quick thinking, Lance. Should have done that much sooner. Didn't he? You really think you could have taken them? <sighs> I think Yorin did the right thing. If he hadn't used his powers back there, you'd have been first out of the running. Yeah, but still. Didn't have to go get himself killed for it. Come on. He was trying to protect you. He lured in Garvel's gang. Gave us a chance to turn it around. <sighs> You know who wasn't up to it? We weren't. Yeah, but... Just stop it! No more arguing. It's my fault. I should have... just done a better job. 
then we'd have won. Hey. <laughs> so much for getting to the final, huh? Sorry. I let us down on your big day. I'm so sorry. What big day? The birthday. What? Whose? Yours, dummy. It's your second term, right? Remember? Ah. Oh. A win would have been a nice surprise. Lance was pretty fired up too, weren't you? Cut it out. Hey. What? You'll apologize, right? Might do, might not. We each have a lifespan of ten years. We call them terms. Life begins with our first term and ends at the close of our tenth. And over the course of those ten years, we fight continually. Though in reality, there aren't that many who can hold their flame for the whole ten years. Most lose their lives on the battlefield before they reach year ten. But those who do survive to the end are honored in a special service. We call it the homecoming. Morning, Yorn. Hey, Noah. Morning. Morning, uh, Lans. <laughs> Get a move on. Quick, we're gonna miss the homecoming. First one they've ever had here, right? Yeah, isn't it awesome? Even the Queen's come out. So that's Her Majesty, huh? Wow! I've never seen her before. So cool! I heard the stories, but this is just wild! That's gonna be me someday. Just you try and stop me. You guys too. You're totally making it with me. Of course! Uh, hmm. And you, Noah, right? Huh? Sure. Yeah, you bet. Our lives came from the Queen. And we all lived for a chance to take part in the homecoming. The chance to return to the Queen's embrace. Carrying out ten years of service fighting. That was our whole world. Nobody ever thought to question it. 
until that day. Do you have to? Huh? You shouldn't be sending those guys off like that. What? Why not? Why are you like this, Noah? It's Agnes, our enemy. Well, yeah. They don't have an officer, though, to send them. Yeah, they all bit the dust thanks to us. So what? Look, there's no rule not to. Then what, you're just gonna keep going? I don't get you, Noah. I know we're putting our lives on the line, but still... Yeah, yeah, we get it already. Friend or foe, someone has to lay them to rest. For that is my role as an officer. Right. Uh, is my voice that deep? Shot at you. I wasn't trying to be anyone specific. Right, I've had about enough of all this depressing crap. Let's head back and hit the showers. I'm all gunked up with blood and sweat. Ah, oh, bye, transport. Guess we missed it again. Oh, bollocks! Oh, Noah always does this. How many times is it we've had to walk home now? <sighs> From all the cutscenes, we can finally continue on. I'm gonna keep this episode a bit longer because honestly, it gives you guys a bit more taste for what goes on. That's here, region. Everybody playing. The place is. Cold landmarks that give us experience, the special difficult ones, close secret areas. The whole part has to be incapacitated in battle. Oh. Whoa, check this so we can return to landmarks. Okay, and this mini mark. Finally, they bring this, which I'm happy to get back from X. The one good thing X did, uh, for the most part. Alright, let's head back to Colony 9. And we have to head back to Colony 9. Sadly, we don't have a way to speed up. We can get some item marks. But you know what? Are we Let's go on for a little battle. Sorry I made you wait. Give you a bit more taste. Sorry. 
I'm just I'm fading into the music again. It's gone. Sorry I made you wait. Ah, it's fine. We're used to it. We're gonna try and at least face one of her one of every enemy. Fight with focus. At least for a while. Nice. This isn't too bad. Nice one, Wamba. Crush it! Alright, next! Oh wait. I guess it's having over. the upper hand doesn't guarantee your safety. Colony Sigma were fighting frantically for their lives. Just like us. Yeah. Such honestly, surprisingly harrowing. Like, you itching to get wrecked? What do you think? Oh, war. Yeah, that's an area effect of healing. You think about it, you usually don't think of the cheering. Chanting, pushing. Yeah, I wish we could have avoided that. We aced that one. <sighs> Container. Interesting. Friends, wait. What's that? What's the matter, Riku? Oh, Noah. Just because friends are born out from battle, there's no excuse to know, not pay attention to surroundings. Dark eyes, right there. Oh, hey, an abandoned container. Does it cast off like trash? Is it even worth trying to salvage it? Victory can make soldiers sloppy, neglectful of battlefield, battlefield aftercare tasks. Thanks to Napon Rearguard, Noah and friends survive battle. Go home. And with Bum Bum in single piece. Don't friends think friends should heed advice of experienced colleague? I guess maybe we should. Oh, so you're a badass now, eh, Riku? Maybe next time you wanna join us on the front line, huh? That sound fun? Hey Lance, go easy. Riku's just trying to help us out here. And rare ease. That's quite nice to see. I hope we can make use of this. Attack zone. Interesting. Characters. Oh, so this tells us good. So we can actually we can actually gain slots in levels. Something I kind of wish Simply 2 did. Okay. Actually, I'm going to check. Oh, it's not going to let me. Sharp Eye, Covert Attack, Cypher Edge, Inspire. We'll get to unique monsters. Items. Nice. Before we ask, I will eventually add in the DLC. Right now, I don't. Partly because I want to get to the real chunk of the game. Hey, is that... Snuffed it and wrote back to Colony 9. Rough deal. Yeah, now I'll follow that life on the clock. Just wait a moment, would you? I ought to take care of the Odyssey. Of course, wait a time. 
And there was an officer, a soldier who helps the fallen pass on, sending an in off anyone else to find on the field, the blizzard affinity of, col of the colonies you, they belong to. We can't leave it like this. Seeker. Oh, Piranax. And we don't have a way to fight Piranax. Because I think the closest here we, we can go, get guys. is right here. Make sparks fly, Noah. Yeah. Oh, we can fight in the war. I did do that. Oh, that's a nice addition. I, I like that. Nice. Now this is a moment in combat. A broken Eva Crystal. We'll find out what they do later. Especially me, because I don't know what they do. <laughs> Ink Mollusk. This should be enough for our daily hygiene needs, eh? Uh, no. It's no substitute for a proper bath. I already like uni. Rock a bye bye soul. Straw. Positioning battle? Yeah, I think. You told us. Oh, my name is have positions. No, it's just telling us about positions. Yeah, this is telling us where they want us to be. Noah, get the I don't know why they're teaching us this again. I think it would have been better to teach us some sort of strike. Good job, Yee! Hey, I'm here! Hey, you barely messed anything up today! Dang! Extra! Nice! Right, let's push on! Interesting. Bonnets is dead. Oh, what pain. Let's use combos to wipe them out. No, you break their stocks. I'll follow up afterwards. Nice. That's it. Talk about it. Art combos. Lantern arts one after another in St. Orders call a combo. Only arts with special combo status can fetch with our combo. For example, an art battle for its break, followed by an art block for topple with topple enemy. A long combo is break, topple, days, burst. Go for it, Noah! Punch the enemy with a sword strike! Nothing showing! Dang! Yeah, I'll kick me! Nice! That's what I'm talking about! I'm getting the hang of this. Nice. Training rules! Okay, so this is just teaching us. And a nice in universe explanation for how the remembering. Ooh, Colony 9. Death Mushroom. There's Colony 9. Always a welcome sight. It feels weird to hear Colony 9. Colony Discover. Colony Night. Ah, 
made it back at last. What a hike. It's just long walking is tough on the legs of Riku. Riku totally pooped. It was a massive battle, but we don't seem to have taken too many injuries, unfortunately. Yeah, well, I guess that's like of going up against a low rank new mark colony like that. On the flip side, we didn't manage to fill up the flame pot all that much. Ah, uh, it's all for the best. At least we'll all come back in one piece. Agreed. And anyway, we should be right on that front for the time being. No talking out here. Just waste time. How about friends move chatter into battle? Good thinking. Let's do that. Etea region, colony 9. It really feels weird to call it that. The flame clock shows the amount of life flames harvested from defeated enemies. The amount of flame will decrease as time passes. Your character's stats will increase as the flame clock gauge fills up. So try to keep the gauge filled up as much as possible to maintain the stat increase. Prepare for stalking. So, let's go talk. Hey, thanks for what you did in that battle. Couldn't have made it back without you. I mean, four left misses from Colony Sierra. I had no idea how I was going to handle that. We don't know what a whole lot of left misses. We don't have a whole lot of left misses at our colony. Get how it can be a problem. Okay, so that's just talk talk. Finally, I can float my worries away. Carry. With how late we are, it should be empty too. Oh, it's up there. How'd you get up there? Oh, we can climb up there. I'm gonna climb up there and get those containers first. First, let's talk with Laura, Gloria. She's like calling the nice Ferronis. Won't be able to move for a while. Can't move? They've made it back here from the battlefield. Thing is, it looks like the engine took a bit of being in the battle with Colony Sigma. So there's nothing the mechanics told us. Shut it down, all down, while they handle the means. Yeah? I got the sound like it's gonna park up here for a little while then. That might not be good. It might be good. We don't know. I don't see a way to get up, so we might as well just close the V of 10. Continue story. Say, you know how you became an officer after what happened? Hmm? Um, uh, I guess, yeah. Does it still hurt? No. I can't say I'm totally over it. But I'm getting there. I've sent so many of our comrades. A lot's happened. Both for me and those sent on. Mm. Anyway, worry about him. I... Uh... Poor guy. Pushes himself too hard. What can we do? He's been like this for ages.
He never got to apologize, so... You know. Hmm? You guys talking about the battle? Don't worry about the bonus points, because I'll have nabbed them all. Uh, the snuff you on about? I'll have you know I clocked up a fair bit more. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm the one who took the heavy off its hinges. They give you loads of points. Ooh, big deal. If that heel had come a few seconds later, you'd be sleeping in the dirt. Ah, uh, yeah, no, ah, uh, that was part of the plan. You couldn't tell. I just felt like giving you the credit. But don't worry, you can thank me later. Huh? You're a right Muppet, Lance. All right, then. Off to bed with me. Yeah, all that walking's really done a number on me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I might do some spot maintenance on our gear before I kit. Lance, you're being very diligent. And... I don't know... Alright, good. Okay, time to sack. Maybe? Rest in the tent. Sure, let's do it. Rest to max. Rest in various humans business. Indeed. Emergency assembly. It's the crack of door, guys. Uh, why? No idea. We better take a look. To get to the assembly point, we gotta run through the Ferronis interior. I think Noah knows that, Lance. <laughs> nice. Nice telling the player, but also scolding the characters for seeming. Obvious in character. Uh, that sparks. Sorry, but you're gonna be hearing that bit. Cause I'm not. There we go. Container. Gemstone. A turkin notebook. I don't know Turkin to Noobs. Okay, uh, before we go, let us. Oh, yeah, command. Let's use this. Oh, please don't tell me not Noah's gonna say that all the time. I might get used to it though, so maybe it won't be that bad. Also, again, apologies. I hope we can I want everything. Uh, not on coins. Again. Why is these specific collectibles about? Oh, I can survive that drop. Let's move. Let's go assemble. Remind me, what are we lining up for here? Royal decree from the castle. They say an enemy armored unit's approaching this area. Come on, man. I just got to sleep and everything. Friend's fault for staying up late. And whose fault was it I couldn't sleep? I asked you to do the maintenance on my power frame, but you totally messed up my settings. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, that probably different frame. Riku is popular guy, but crushed by weight of fans asking to do favors. Sometimes mix up orders. Meh, if configs bamboozle, why not fix myself? That's why I didn't get any sleep, Furball. I'm here to announce today's mission. You have one target. It's currently on course for the suppression area here. Oh. 
Judging from the mass, it's expected to be large in size. And based on its speed, we estimate it will reach the Alfetto Valley at 0100 hours. Notably, the target's emitting a considerable amount of ether energy. As for your mission, deploy at the canyon by the designated time. Investigate and destroy the source of ether. Commander, one question. Go. About this target, can we assume it's from Agnes? We don't know. We haven't been able to confirm, but it seems that they're also gunning for it. This would suggest it should be seen as part of a different enemy force. Combat with Agnian troops in the area is also expected. Details will be sent to your iris after deployment. Clear? You are to remain vigilant throughout the operation. Dismissed! We better start preparing to move out to... No? No, mate? Do you want to go to the commissary to do some equipment shopping? Gotta get in top out with something a bit more solid, yeah? Make him a bit less squishy. Should be flush with cash since we just got the reward for that colony Sigma job, right? I'll show you top some top notch accessories. Could do worse than take a bit of advice from a battle ward hierarchies like Moamba. Huh. She is Moamba. Then we go to the commissary? Camille is taking point on distribution around this time, I reckon. Good to know. Alright. Let's go and take care of prep then. Preparing for battle. A main store quest. Purchase money with no, gold. Move them. Let's get ourselves kitted out with some good gear for the road ahead. Yep. There's so much choice. Yes, I know the buy. Uh, boost dexterity. Oh, that's nice. Any break duration is also good. Oh. Bronze Temple Guard, eh? Nice, nice. Should be a job a bit easier at least. Oh yeah, hurry put it on already. Yeah, I'm on it. Kicking me out? Come on. Yeah, okay. I do feel a bit tougher already. Wow, that's the mark of a good piece of gear. Commissary, stacks, with useful bits and bobs like that. You want to stop by? Every now and then. Anything to get an extra edge in the fight against Agnes, right? We show consistent results. The colony might promote it too. They'll improve the quality of equipment on offer here as well. We'll do our best to help make that happen. Thanks, Mwamba. Alright, so we'll give it up then. Let's go with the plasma. Double time. We'll do that next time. Huh? Really? That's a pivotal. Oh, we're not done. Oi! Nora! N Nora? Noah! What's all up? We're going on up. Yeah, sorry, it's just... He looked trouble somehow. Oh, spark steak. You're gonna put on your Gucci troops cap now. Tch. Fine, let's see what's up then. Now, can I actually... Yes, I know. Game. 
Don't be tutorialized that hard. Take this attack zone, lands. Don't forget. Show quests. Show items. Because it's best just to do that. Just to go through all these, just to get this out of the way. Okay, there we go. And... Oh, finally! It feels good after Simply 2 to have this again. Next time, a record on Xenoblade Chronicles 3, we will do a bit more work, because, let's be real, we didn't do much, gameplay-wise, in this episode. Xenozoa, signing out.